the next exercise we are going to learn is greatest common divisor or known as gcd of two numbers so what is this the greatest common divisor of two numbers is the largest number that divides both the numbers without leaving a remainder let's see some examples for example if i give you 60 and 48 the largest number which can divide both this number is 12 similar way if i give you 81 and 27 the largest number it can divide both the numbers is 27 itself 27 divided by 1 is 27 27 no, sorry 27 uh, multiplied by 1 is 27 27 multiplied by 3 is 81 so 27 is the largest number that can divide both the numbers if i give you 17 comma 5 the output is 1 why because 17 and 5 have no common factors except 1 so only one can divide both of them there is no such any other number so this is what you have to program in python this will be interesting let's see how you can build a logic for this and write this entire program so now i'm back on my vs code let's write it now here let me create two variables one i will say num1 and let me assign some value for example i'm assigning 60. let's create another variable called num2 and let's assign a value let's say 48. now let us call a function so i'm saying gcd is equals to so here i'm passing the number one and number two by calling a function we haven't de defined the function compute gcd yet but i'm going to define it now let's say I have to print the output. How will I print? Print and use a double code. And here I will say the GCD of um, in this I will write num1 and num2. Okay, is vcd so now let's have a look of this so this function i yet to define but how the output would come is it is going to print it the gcd of number 1 60 and number 2 48 is let's say 12 so this is how the output would come now let's define the function so to define you'll say define and then you'll use this compute gcd and i'm going to pass two parameters called a comma b okay so now if you see the compute gcd had a red line it which is gone now so number one and number two would pass to two variables a and b that means you are passing 60 in a and the b you are passing 48 now let me write a pretty simple code okay let's have a, and i'm going to explain you let me write while uh, b not equals to zero not equals to zero um b is not equals to zero uh, colon then i'm going to say replace a and b with replace a with b comma replace b with a mod b okay so this is what i have written now finally i'm going to return a now let's see how this entire thing is working let's understand pretty simple code and it's going to calculate the gcd let me run the code now if i run the code it gave me what is the output 12 is the output okay let me change this number to let's say replace it with 48 and 60 if i do opposite okay 60 run the code you see the output is coming 12 now let me give some other value for example let me give um, uh, 81 and i'm giving 27 and try to run it you see it is giving 27 let's say i'm giving 17 and i'm giving 5 i'm going to explain you don't worry 5 i'm giving 5 and try to run the code you see the gcd is 1 so now it is calculating now this entire thing is very simple code it's working pretty well now let's understand how it works now for this let's take this example of 60 and 48 okay now let's say when you are calling this particular function 
compute GCD. So what happens in the num1 you get 60, in the num2 you got 48. Now it came to this, this area. Here in this one A value contains 60, the B value contains 48. What it is? A contains 60, B contains 48. Clear in your mind? Good. Now let's look how this is working. Here I am saying while B value is not equals to 0 until then you run it. And the moment it becomes 0, you stop. So now what is the B value? B value is 48. So when the first time when the loop starts, look at the table. A value is 60, B value is 48. Now the loop will start and this particular line will run. Look at the table. Here what is happening? I am replacing A value with B and B value with reminder of A modulus B. So in this case what is happening? Let's see. What is the B value just now we, I said? 48. So 48 I am assigning it to A. So A value now become when the first time when it runs, when the loop has run already the first time, then what is the A value has become? A value has become 48. Modulus of A, B. So A, here here the parameter, the initial value is 60. Still it's 60, right? Until the entire code is run, then until then your values are still A value is 60, B value is 48. So A divided by 48, how much it becomes? The reminder is 12. 48 into 1, 48. And if you minus 60 minus 48, reminder is 12. So 12 is the value here and in B the value is 48. So 48 comma 12. So 48 getting assigned to A and 12 getting assigned to B. Clear now? So 48 comma B. When the loop runs again, then what is happening? The B value is still 12. So here again what is happening because B value is 12. Now A value has become what? 12. And here it will do 48 divided by 12. So 48 divided by 12. 12 into 4, 48. So here it, the reminder becomes 0 now. The reminder becomes 0. That means B value has become 0. So here the condition is when the B value is not equal to 0, then you run. Otherwise don't run. So the moment it has become 0, the loop will exit. While the loop exists, what is the value of A? 12. B value is 0. Clear? So what I am returning here? 12. So 12 came here to the GCD variable and here I am printing the variable GCD. Now you examine same thing with couple of more numbers like 81, 27. You can also examine for another number 70 and 30. For example, if I do 70 and if I do 30, let's see what is the GCD for this. The GCD is 10. The maximum divisible is 10 is the GCD. Now it's time in the comment section to let me know how many of you truly understood the logic that was built here to calculate the GCD. If you have understood, please do comment and let me know that you have understood. Thank you for watching. Let's meet once again in our next video.